so it's not a retrospective, this exhibition. But with the exhibition we are once more maybe contradicting the setting of our space as a sort of alternative space for young art. So we invited uh, Denisa Lehotka also because uh, nobody else in Prague from the big institutions were regarding her experience and her age she should exhibit has not invited her. So we invited her to do exhibition in here. But uh, as with the other exhibition of maybe a bit older artists than she is still, it is not a retrospective, but rather a new project that reconnects, reused some of the existing works. And that from the very essence of the space has to somehow react to the space. What I actually like on this exhibition is that it is not site-specific in the kind of traditional meaning of the term, that she would consider also the ideological, symbolical, genius, lots of historical part of the space. But she really thinks about the space more as a certain setting or a scene for her work. And uh, for the seven years I'm working in here, I think it's one of the best use of the space. The fact that she has concentrated her work in the middle of this long corridor, she kind of interrupted this inherent narrativity, the parkourness of it, that you're having a sense of a walk, a certain sequence, and more change it into some intensities, so that at the beginning you start to see a couple of sculptures and at a certain point they intensify in this gathering, and then they again vanish into the darkness somehow. That's also why there is no light at the end. So I think it's really innovative uh, and we are very happy that someone is still able to use the space that so many exhibitions happened before and that is very charismatic but also very different in a complete new way. It's actually not supposed to be a narrative. I think the space has a strong narrativity in this sense of a walk, but the fact that at a certain point you somehow stop, but also because there is dark and because there is no more art, and you need to return and you again face this intensification in the middle and you again come at the beginning where the, the rhythm of the sculptures is getting slowed down until it disappeared. This should kind of break it, this. It should really more feel like a kind of set of intensities in this long corridor rather than a story. Yeah, I think also it's Important that Denisa is definitely a sculptor. Yeah, it's a sculptural exhibition and her work with the space also grows from her sculptural interest that is really based on an everyday, laborious, long-term activity. The sculptures are somehow dairies. Yeah, she's soaking them in a plaster every day. So there are thousands of layers on some of them. And uh, into this again rhythmic, intensified activity, there is both something spiritual, both something very feminine. I think it very much follows the tradition of the feminine conceptuation of the body and related feelings. But there's also something therapeutic definitely in it. But I think that Denisa would not actually agree with any of those terms, but they somehow work well together in the fact that they break a bit and contradict each other. So we cannot say it's only one. It's somehow all together. Yeah. But definitely it's all about sensitivities. Sensitivities and intensities.